Okay, so my Gorman M10K Passive Graphic Tablet. I know that's a mouthful, um, and I've only really just started playing around with this particular one, but I'm so impressed with it. And I'll take you through some of the things that, that are impressing me. Uh, first thing that you need to know is my daughter that's the artist in the family, and she's away at the moment, but she's already had a play with it, and she tells us that she loves it. Um, she's got the types of um, applications and programs that really suit this, but I'll show you what I, I've been using it for, and one of them is annotating Word documents. But nevertheless, if we, if we have a look up here, so this is, um, this is Microsoft Paint 3D. And these are some of the things that I've been doing with the tablet. Um, first things first, let's just go through what the tablet actually does. So keep on the screen. Yeah, that's the pen, by the way. And you've got a right click. Oh, well, I, I use it as a right click, but I'll just take you through. If, if we just keep looking at the screen there, if I pull this up, this button here. Yeah. When I press that, watch what happens on the screen. So you come up with the pen tablet settings. Now I'm using the pen. There we go, that's the pen that's doing that. I'm going to come down here, see how the pen is moving that. Well, if we go to the middle there, so this is for the nib pressure sensitivity. So starting off, when you press on, you get that, or it goes down to light, heavy, light. Now that's only for the uh, particular programs or apps that take that. Let me just clean that. I'm going to move that completely over there now so that we can start off light. And then as I press on, it just goes harder and harder. If, if I move this around all the way over there, it's pretty much full on all the time. It's not sensitive at all. And that's why I'm going to set it there uh, because it is sensitive. Right, you've also got uh, your nib click sensitivity and your tilt sensitivity on the pen. I'm not gonna mess with those at the moment. If I go over to uh, the mapping, so currently this is set up to take in all of the screens. So if, again, if, if we just pull out and have a look at this, so I'm not too sure if you can see it. Uh, Right there, you've got the corner of the screen, if you can see it. And if we come over to the other side, there's the other corner of the screen. And it's around here somewhere. It's just a bit difficult to see with the, uh, down here, it's down there. So that is showing, I can bring the mouse from one end all the way over to the other by just using the tablet which is really useful because I've got the full, I've got the full gamut there, as you can see. I'm just writing on it there. And I'm writing on it actually there with the, with the, the ink nib calligraphy pen. Uh, you can swap it to whatever you want. You can go for the marker pen. Do, 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 do. And obviously what this doesn't take into account is the, um, the pressure that you put on. This is great. No batteries in it. Not like uh, my, um, Surface Pro 3 that I've got where it's uh, it's batteries in it um, and I'm going to just come out of there and I'm going to go into Word so I'm going to use this to come down to here you can see I'm going to click on that right I've opened the Word document up now what I can do is I can use the pen to annotate well, there we go. So, for example, if there's spelling mistakes, I can circle them like so. Uh, there's another one. I can put something in the margin, good, yeah, or bad, or tick, or whatever the case may be. The this here, if I move my finger up and down there, we'll see what happens. Let's get my pen back into the middle. It was, I'm not too sure what's going on there, but it was actually scrolling it because I've got it set up as the. Uh... There we go. Right. 
So if you see, if you have a look in the background there, as I'm rolling my finger up and down there, it's scrolling through it, which is extremely useful. So there's having to use the mouse. Um, and I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull that up again because we can set the keys. So again, if we just come back to the tablet, all these keys here, we can set them up for whatever we want. As you can see, if I go up to here, press that, I can set it up for anything on the mouse, whether it be uh, the double click or slipping over to the keyboard or disabling something. So you can make them whatever you want to make them. And then when you finish, simply save it, all done and dusted, exit out of that, and then you're back to whatever it is that you were doing before. So this tablet is, I'm just gonna pop that down there because some of the other things that you get with it, apart from the passive pen are, now, if we just come down here and have a look. Yeah, we've got the holder for the pen for when you're out and about. And there's also a holder for additional nibs because obviously the more you use this, the more that, that nib is going to get worn. And when it's worn, it's neither used to man nor beast. So you want to be able to change it. And that's what these are. There's four spur nibs there plus the tool for taking it out. Uh, I did have to download the application for this, which was simple. All I did was go to, um, where is it? I've rebooted it to get the application working, but if it was, here we go. It was the Gamon website, and you, you literally just go to your MK10, sorry, M10K, um, to your support, driver download and then Bob's your uncle on that. So all in all, an absolutely fantastic uh, graphic tablet. Uh, so I'm gonna get more and more use out of this. I've, I'm currently doing uh, an extension on the house and we've got all the drawings from the architect, but I want them to come to life a bit more. So it's about putting color in and drawing all the backgrounds in and everything. So that's one of the, uh, one of the projects that I'm currently on with and that's what this baby is gonna help me with along with my daughter that's at uh, grammar school, she's going to be doing all her artwork on this as well. So a fantastic buy as far as I'm concerned. Does everything that it says it do, will do on the tin. Um, and I'm really glad that I got it. And I almost forgot to show you. Uh, obviously with the nib, you can draw. So here I am and I'm drawing. But if I spin the pen over, I've now got an eraser on the other end. So if I come down to this now, and use it. I can rub out whatever I've done, which is handy because you're not messing around, fiddling around, going to settings or anything like that. So writing, rubbing. <laughs>